Originally bred as scent hounds, the Beagle is a well-known breed that has plenty of energy, is highly intelligent and is incredibly fun-loving. In today's video, we'll be comparing the active Beagle with the Malinois, an incredible breed that can often be found working as police and military dogs in protection and as a loving family companion. Welcome back to the Fenrir Beagle Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Beagle, then how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Beagle. So if you're a lifelong lover, thinking about getting one, or just started your journey with your new pup, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Beagle video. So but let's dive right into today's video and look at these two breeds, their similarities and their differences. Firstly, let's take a look at the breed's histories. The Beagle's history is pretty uncertain, as the breed that we know today did not really develop until the 19th century. However, there have been Greek documents uncovered from 400 BC, which describe Beagle-like dogs, plus the Romans are thought to have brought small hunting hounds with them to England, where they proceeded to breed them with local hounds. Talbot hounds are thought to have been the ancestors of the Beagle due to William the Conqueror bringing the breed to England throughout the Norman Conquest in 1066. Beagles became very popular in England, specifically with royalty. The royal family had extremely small beagles, which were known as glove beagles, as they were small enough to be held in a gloved hand. In the 1700s, fox hunting was an increasingly popular sport in England, and the beagle was no longer regarded highly for the role since the foxhound became largely preferred. Without farmers in England, Ireland and Wales continuing to use the beagle in packs for rabbit hunting, the beagle may have actually ended up becoming extinct. The mid-1800s saw Reverend Philip Honeywood developing a pack of beagles in England, which are thought to have been the ancestors of the modern beagle. Reverend Honeywood bred them for their hunting skills and not their looks, so another Englishman became responsible for breeding beagles that were a combination of good hunters and good looking. The Belgian Malinois is one of four different varieties of Belgian sheepdogs that were developed in Belgium in the 1800s. The Belgian Sheepdog Club was formed in 1891 to identify which of the many different types of dog was a representation of the shepherd dogs developed in and native to Belgium, which was said to be square, medium-sized, with well-set triangular ears and very dark brown eyes, and only differed in texture, colour and length of the hair. The Malinois of today can be traced back to the pair of dogs. One pale, fawn, rough-haired shepherd dog and a short-haired, brindle brown shepherd dog. From that line, after careful and proper breeding, the Malinois came to be. It got its name after the city of Malaines, and soon all fawn-coloured short-haired dogs were known as a Malinois. In 1877, due to a lack of sheep left in Belgium, it was suggested that shepherd dogs be put through the field trials to showcase their intelligence, obedience and loyalty. The canine trials showed just how incredible the Malinois was in its abilities with high intelligence and remarkable jumping height. They were also used as guard dogs, and they were the first dogs to be used by the Belgian police. The dogs worked as military dogs during the First and Second World Wars, which caused them to become very popular globally after being brought home with the soldiers across Europe to America and beyond. There are two accepted varieties of the Beagle breed. The 13-inch variety is for hounds that don't exceed 13 inches in height at the shoulder, and then the 15-inch variety for hounds that are 13 to 15 inches in height at the shoulder. The standard coat colouring for the breed is said to be any hound colour. The most common colour for Beagles is tricolour with a black saddle white legs, chest, belly and a white tip on the tail, with tan on their heads and surrounding the saddle area on the back. The coat is smooth and dense and is water resistant. Male Belgian Malinois are generally 24 to 26 inches in height at the shoulder and weigh between 60 to 80 pounds. Females are slightly smaller at 22 to 24 inches in height and weigh between 40 to 60 pounds. As previously mentioned, the Malinois have short and straight hair, which is pretty rough in texture. They've had a hard top coat and a dense undercoat, which provides them with weather resistance, which they needed, especially being originally bred to work outdoors in any and all conditions. The hair around their neck can be slightly longer, causing a sort of mini mane to form. They have a fawn to mahogany coloured coat with a black mask on their face, black ears and black tips on their hairs. 
Four Malinois can sometimes have a bit of white fur on the tips of their toes or a small white marking on their chest. As with all dog breeds, it's super important to be aware of any particular health conditions that the breed is known to be more prone to having. The Beagle in particular can be more prone to certain health issues including spinal problems, hip dysplasia, cherry eye, glaucoma, eye conditions, epilepsy, thyroid problems and joint issues. The Malinois is generally healthy but like the Beagle can be more prone to certain health conditions which include hip and elbow dysplasia eye conditions and anesthesia sensitivity. They have a span of 12 to 14 years. The Malinois is an incredible working dog that is remarkably confident and protective. They're very affectionate when it comes to their family but can be very unsure or wary of strangers until they feel they and their family are safe. They have fantastic watchdog abilities as they will protect the family and home no matter what. With plenty of early socialisation and consistent training with the Malinois, you can have an all-rounded, devoted, loving canine companion that looks to you for guidance and is well-balanced in nature. Beagles are incredibly loving dogs. They are most often quite the character and love to entertain, which can make playtime really fun for both you and your dog. They're gentle and sweet dogs by nature, but plenty of consistent socialisation from an early age will help them in growing into a well-balanced and confident dog. Plus, consistent and proper training is needed as the Beagle's stubborn hound side can cause some issues. But as long as you're a calm and consistent leader for your dog to look to for guidance from puppyhood through to their adult years, then you can have a very well-trained family companion. They're outgoing and loving, whilst also intuitive and determined. Being a scent hound, they have an incredibly strong nose, and it, this is important to be aware of when training and walking your dog. They're active dogs, so need a large amount of exercise every day. They can make an amazing addition to an active family. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comment section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have three dedicated Beagle videos coming here every single week, so I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Beagle Show.